We are now going to take a look at the lithium battery setup. Now this setup is underneath the main seat. So in the quantum and the matrix, once the seat base is taken off, you will access your electrics from there. So now this setup is very similar to the AGM setup. The batteries are very similar in size. The main advantage of the lithium is the weight saving. So these batteries combined weigh around 24 kilos compared to the 70 kilos of the AGM. You can see in this compartment we also have circuit breakers. Now everything's labelled and nice and easy to get to so if you do have a problem you know exactly where you're going to. We can also see that we have two fuse boxes. Same with the fuse boxes, everything is nice and easy to get to and labelled so you know exactly where you're going to in the circumstances of any problems with the fuses. Moving on we will now take a look at the Red Arc Manager 30 charger which is mounted here on the back wall. Now this charger is standard in all our models. The real advantage to this charger is it is a smart charger so it's capable of working on both AGMs and lithium. So this just gives you the option that if you do take the AGM standard setup with your batteries you can always switch at a later date to lithiums and all it is a simple case of doing is once the batteries are unplugged, once you switch to the new batteries you can set it up in the system that it will work on both. Sticking with the Red Arc Manager 30 system, we will now take a look at the standard control monitor that is fitted in all our models. Now this control panel is very advanced in what it can do. To use this at its basic functions, what I will show you now, this is all you will need to do to basically access what you need to get from this panel. So if we look here on the main screen now, it is telling us that we're 100%. So this screen basically is showing us, because we are on charge, that we are maintaining 100%. So as we, if we wasn't on charge now, and these appliances were turned on, like your lights, your fridges, things like that, it'd actually tell you how many days you've got left at that rate. So this is a real good way of conserving your power and working it out. We'll press down, it'll take us to our next function. So this one is basically telling us where we are drawing power from. So I said, as I said earlier, we are on mains at the minute. So this one is now showing us that on mains we are pulling in 244 volts. If we was working off solar, the top one would be the black one. If we was working off as Anderson through the car, the bottom one would be blacked. The next function down is where we find out how much amperage we are using. So at the minute we're only running our lights, so we are pulling out 3.5 amps. As we add things onto this, increase the amperage up by using your fridge again, your water pump, things like that, this will actually tell you how much amperage you're using. So again, you can really break down the power and know exactly where, what appliance is using what. The next function down is the status mode, so this will tell you what the battery system is working at. So the first one it will tell you the stage. Now the charger will control all the functions it needs to do with charging, so whether it needs a float charger, rejuvenation, this charger will work it all out for you, so there's nothing you need to set on this. Down from that it will say touring, now there's two modes with this charger, whether it be touring mode or storage mode. Obviously if the van is going to be stored for long periods, that's when you would change to storage. This is done by pressing the right arrow, so if, if we go back to that screen, if we press the right arrow, again if we move that on left or right, this will fluctuate between storage and touring mode. So we'll keep this in touring mode for the minute. Underneath is a voltage, so as I say we are on charge, so we've got 14.5 volts in the batteries now. Again if we wasn't on charge, this will tell you exactly how much you've got in there. And underneath that it'll tell you the temperature, so if the batteries are running really hot from being overused, you can actually break it down and, and see the temperature that you're operating at. The next screen, the last screen, is basically a display of the time and date. Again, to change anything on this, you press the right arrow, and then it'll actually let you move to change your times to whatever to suit. So you can change the AM to PM, the main time and you can also do the date if you carry on going through that function. By pressing left this will pull us back to the screen and that is a good breakdown of the battery monitor.